What is happening, ladies and gents? Welcome to another episode of Have a Chat with Ray and Stat. I am Ray. That is Stat. Hello, hello. What is happening, brother? Hi, mate. Uh, living the dream, mate. What's going on? You're an absolute liar. No, nah, definitely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah no, no. You're, you're 100% right. But you know what's awesome, bro? Here we go. We finally got ourselves a switcher. We can switch. We're professionals. Look, look at this. Look at this. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. How yes. good is that, bro? The switching is good. Uh, the person behind the switching is not good. No, no. We've got Joseph in the room. Joe, how you doing, bro? Hello. You all right? Okay. All right. So, um... Right, hey, what, hey, Mr. Switcher, why can't you switch to your face? They have a third we, camera. Why, why can't you switch to your face, bro? Sorry, I think we're still a bit broke. We only have two cameras. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> By way, you mean you and Ray, yeah? I like yeah, how I like how he says we like he's part of the show now. You know what I mean? You can take my spot. <laughs> What's going on? Same old mate. I'm happy to be back. We took two weeks off. Um, one was planned, the other one wasn't. What happened to you, bro? I was very sick. You were very sick, man. Yes, I was. I was out for like four days, but I was, I'm still out now. Yeah? Still, You're yeah. still no good? I think this is... I used to get sick very often, mm -hmm. and I stopped for like a year, maybe a year and a bit, and then I just got very sick again this year. Okay, so answer me this. How does this keep happening to you, bro? Because... I have a weak immune system. <laughs> is it just that? Yeah. Because, mate, this is like the fourth time you've been sick this year? Oh, about seventh. Sep okay. Seventh time you're sick. A lot but of times? This one, this one knocked me out. I thought it was just a little flu, but it knocked me out. You out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just checking something. Okay. Yeah, it's one knocked me out a little bit. But, um, yeah, no, all right. Just, just got a lingering dry cough, which is totally air to So. Salam tech, bro. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. How you going? I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm keen. For? Very excited for Elevate Retreat, bro. Bro, about, you know. About time. time mate. About time, you, bro. I just want it to be over in the sense of doing registrations and that, <laughs> bro. How you been doing with that? How was this time round? Oh, it doesn't get easier, bro. Really? Yeah. Bro, I'll tell you this, though. You looked like you were in your element. When you were sitting at that reception desk, I, I looked at you. It's my favorite place to be. And I thought to myself, I found Stats career. I just don't know how we're going to get him to make some money off doing this. See, I make money for the church. I make no money no, for No, 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 no. I mean, but like, I want a like in car. general, I want, I, want, I want you to find a way to make money chasing people for registrations for... In whatever. life? Yeah, just in life in general. You know what I'm saying? Because, listen, I, just when I think the registration part's over, I'm going to start doing registration for the Grand Prix. That's it. Yeah, good point. Yay. Because I'm going to need you to start running around with that uh, that clipboard and get spectators on there and all that stuff, bro. Yay. You're so, so good at it, bro. That's the problem. I hate it, bro. That's the problem. You're just very good at it. It's, I'm just a pain. You are a pain, but... That's the, what it is. It's not... Like, anyone could do it, okay, but so, I'm a pain... How are you a pain though? Like, what, what do you do? Because you've never chased, sorry, you've chased me up once. Mm. How are you a pain? How do you do it? It's, it's a very trying process. Mm. I'm going to sound very retarded and this is going to be very, listen, I don't, it's not very common that I say stuff like this. Okay. I had to, I've come to a point where I customize templates of text messages that I write to people. Wow, Nathaniel. You're full professional with this thing, bro. Yes, yes. Uh, well, I want to say a lot more than I can on the actual text messages, but I cannot due to spiritual reasons. But <laughs> I'm very limited to what I can say. But I just mm. get the point across and I'm very, and I nag. Okay. But I'll, I'll text and if no response to my texts, I'll call the people and then they'll find the weird I'm calling and they won't answer my call and they go, oh, hey, sorry, we missed your call. What's up? But there's 74 texts I sent prior that they haven't responded to. <laughs> So, what do you mean, what's up? I don't want to be your friend and hang out. Just answer my damn text. That's so, I'm very annoying. Yeah. Um, but I get other people to do work for me. Okay. So, I told Mark, Mark, and now it's another very... So, you're a delegator. As, a little bit. But I do a lot of the work, but a little bit I delegate. Okay. The one thing I delegate in life. The reason for that is because people have my guts. So, if I get Mark <laughs> to do it, there's like an element of respect for Mark. <laughs> So I'm like, Mark, can you announce it and elevate for me, bro? That way I don't have to like announce it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, no worries, bro. And so that's half the job, bro, is just knowing your place. Knowing who you are, knowing who's better than you, and that's it, milking bro. them for just, it, Yeah, bro. just being like yes, humble. Yes, Being humble about it. It's but very good, because I know how annoying I am too. So that's why I use people like you. Nothing to, to do say, with registrations. No, no, nothing to do with just in general. People don't like to listen to me, which is fair enough. I mean... Okay. So that's why I go, Stat, can you get people signed up for the Grand Prix? Yes, yes. And uh, I haven't started, I apologise. That's absolutely fine, I my friend. Started. I'm still doing other very straight work, even though it's this week. But look, 
Which, like, obviously well, registration Jokes aside, aside, registrations aside. Very excited, bro. I'm very keen. So we're, we're filming this Monday. Mm. Just, you know, FYI. We're filming up Monday, but it's coming out Thursday. So we're driving up there probably at this point or later on in the day. Probably later on, yeah. I'm so excited, bro. Like, I don't think I've been this pumped for a retreat in a while. Because we haven't had one in, like, two years. Yeah, because of, um, of COVID. I think the one thing I'm looking forward to is when we have things like going on next year, like TNS and other retreat and all that, that we don't have to rely back on previous years. What do you mean? As in payments. Ah, uh, yeah. Previous years. Yeah, because of the I'm whole COVID very thing. Start afresh. Yeah, 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 very keen to start fresh. afresh. Because it made things a lot harder for me this year. Bro, just imagine how complicated that was. I mean, you knew how complicated yeah, it was, it was but just imagine being Manal in that situation who actually has to deal with the admin yeah, of it all. Yeah. Poor thing. That's a nightmare. I said to her, I go, can I take care of the admin for you? And she gracefully said no, which is fair enough. I get it. It's obviously her role. I tried to like, ease her up a little bit. But I just, I felt like if I was updating it in my head very regularly, I'd like, get up to date. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But look, I think we covered everyone in terms right. of payments. So we got it all done. We ended up with 65 people coming yeah. to Elevate Retreat. Yeah, bar a, few, bar a few refunds here and there. but 65 people yeah, all together, bro. bro. That's a big number, bro. Big number for like the first <laughs> re- first retreat of the new regime and all that. There are 79 people on the Elevate WhatsApp chat. Really? Mm. Well, so we got close. So to get 65 is huge. Yeah. Consider as well that the place holds 77. Mm. What we haven't counted though are the wives of the... Um, They're coming too now apparently. To. So, so make, but we've, probably bumps up to that 65 mark. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've, booked, we've booked out a, something for them because I think the kids are coming as well. They're coming for the thing. Like it's full thing. Kids are coming as well? Yeah. Like there's this house next to the campsite or something like that. that oh, right. Okay, like perfect. That. Yeah. It's going to be good though, bro. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a mad it's weekend. It's going to be a good retreat. Um... Fraser Young. Fraser, bro, champion of a man. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's so I'm very bloke. keen to, to learn a lot from him. But I'm just keen for the hangout. Like, See, I, I, was, thinking that, I was thinking that I was thinking that too. Like, I was trying to figure out what am I looking forward to the most. And obviously there's the, the messages and we're going to be blessed and God's going to work. But I'm very, like, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the hangout. Just seeing everyone, just having a laugh and just, you know. Well, okay for the nights of the bonfire. Yeah. Gonna they're be gonna be, oh, it's gonna be outrageous. They're gonna be good, bro. Very keen, no, genuinely yeah. very keen. I don't think there's any aspect of it where I'm like, ah, oh, no, I can't be bothered. I, I'm excited for the whole thing. Mm. Mm. It's gonna be good. I yeah. think. I think just going away, bro. Any time you get, you can go away, no matter how far it is or how close it is. It's, it's good quality, well, bro. Yeah, good it's quality. Bad, bro. Like, <coughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's uh, it's great. You looking forward to it? Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it a lot. I can't wait. Um, it's my first retreat, actually, so I'm it's pumped. First one? Yeah. Uh, is this your first Elevate retreat? Yeah, well, it was meant to be last year, because, you know, the whole COVID stuff and things like that. So, yeah. Fair just, call. Yeah, I'm pumped. Why, does he, why does he sound like he's trying to make a political speech when he's answering these why questions? Why is he so nervous? Yeah, yeah. Like he's no camera on you, like, literally. He's like... <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. Um, Maybe because he's three kilometers away from the microphone as well. That too. That too. But that's right. It, it's one... He can't control that at the moment. I'll say this, he's doing all right. He's just, mate, it's not that to press a button, bro. You'd think so. It's not that to press a button. You'd think so. But Did you bring him here on purpose to press the button? Yes. Joe, bro, go home. <laughs> he's a, listen, he's a good kid. No, 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 he's a good kid. He's got to, he's got to go to Parra tomorrow, so he's sleeping over for now. Oh, okay, enough. Um, but go home. <laughs> he offered, so, yeah. Are you dumb? Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Why did you offer? I don't think I did offer. Oh, okay. I remember you? Raymond saying, "Oh no, he didn't ask me like personally, but he's like, um, oh yeah, he's like Why doing you? this. Can you help out? Blah blah blah." Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna agree with you. Yeah, you're sounding I, very I really, like. I really very, don't know. You see what I'm saying? Like, like he's I don't, I'm like very sure. like we're trying to grab him on some sort of cancellation and like yeah yeah you know, like bro, we're trying to trick him. Kid. Yeah, like I re- bro, I relax. Don't know. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, there you go. Say that. That's all right. You don't have to mute yourself anymore. By the way, if we're gonna talk to you, you just you know have a chat. Yeah, we film talk to me, so that's why he's a little bit shaky because that's a little bit more, you know, professional. Serious? Unquote. Yeah, serious. More serious topics. So what? Pete, yeah, Pete was here. That was why he was here. That's why he was here. Yeah, he's in the Talk To Me episode. Uh, How yeah. good is that? How did he agree to it? I don't know, but we talked about ministry. That's coming out on Monday. So I'm looking forward to that. Just ministry in general and, you know, 
had to be a part of it, what got him part of it, all that. So that's good. And um, next week, I need you to book it in your calendar. We've got Jeremy and Jackie coming back. Jezebel? Yeah, the Jezebel and... Uh, is he bringing Isla? Jay Quellen. Yes, Isla is coming. I'm very excited about that. Very good. What day? Uh, Monday. Yep. Seven, I think. Yep. Yep, perfect. But obviously, come any time prior, we'll do dinner and stuff like that. We'll hang out. Yep. Oh, I'll just add that in. Yeah, get excited for that, ladies and gents. Uh, Jeremy and Jackie are coming back. Uh, it's been... They haven't been back since... Um, What was it? Since the, pr- prior to the kid. So that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, been a while, bro. Yeah. Yeah, good on them. What the hell not? Times. Nah, it should be good. But yeah, um, you got an Epic Camp? Uh, no, no. No? Oh. No. Just no one really around my age is going there. I'm like, I feel like I'm over... Like, I'm too... Not too old, but like, I'm over Epic Camp. You're weak. In what world do we live in where this guy is too old to go to something? Something is too old. Yeah, he's out of the age category, though. He cares, bro. It's a camp. You, t- you take epic camps when you run. Yeah, hundred percent. That's true. If I guess me come back for one last hurrah for an epic camp, oh, I'd go me, back in the instant. Yeah, you go yeah, back yeah, in instant. Hey, instant. Like regardless of who's there, who's not there, bro. You just make the instant. Most of I'd, I'd be there in a the heartbeat. Yeah, bro. They're the best stuff. I love the epic camp. Nah, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a different one this year, though. They're not going back to the same place. Are they going to where we're going to? No, no, they're going somewhere completely. Di- uh, apparently, it's in Win Malay, but it's a different campsite. Oh, because the campsite was booked out or something like that. Fair call. They've yeah. pushed the what three, four times already? Yeah, What's bro. It's full on. This year was weird. Like just things just got moved and switched and this and that. It was a mm. weird one. That's yeah. right. But yeah, elevate retreat, bro. Looking yes. forward to it. Yes, sir. We'll swing past Barry, do all that stuff. Yeah, it'll be, good. be good. It'll be good. And it's a it's a fairly new crew this time. Like if you think back to the last Elevate Retreat, we got a lot of those people, but we've got a lot of new people coming up as well. So like be interesting. Yeah, no, it's going to be good. Be a very interesting dynamic. It's going to be a very good retreat. Yeah. It'll be different to what we've ever done before. Mm. I think this is... I think this retreat we've taken a lot more seriously than other retreats. Yeah. I think there's like a different element to what we've done. It's just... It's felt so much more organized. You know what I mean? With prayer meetings, yeah. with all the meetings. <laughs> that we've had. It just feels like there's been a lot of structure to it. Yeah. Which has been great. And I think the big thing for me was the whole prayer element. Mm. Um, you know, obviously we'd pray for the, the other retreats, but this time we had like dedicated prayer meetings. And that, bro, I don't know about you, that shook me up a bit. Mm. That changed anything for you, like in your own spiritual life, your own prayer life? Because it shook me up. Yeah. Put more of an emphasis. Yeah. Into what I was praying for. And it put more into emphasis of, uh, and more reminding me that I should be praying for, um, Elevate more and specific within specific Elevate, yeah. Retreat, yeah. So it was a very, um, it was very good. I think it, it, in the fasting element as well, it changed me up a bit. Mm. That smashed me around, yeah. The fasting this time around, had it been a long time since you had been fasting? No, no, no. So, what, what was different this time then? It was, I won't say it was for a greater need. But I think it was just a different type of fast. It was, a, you know what? You're right. It was a different type of fast because it was no longer for something you wanted specifically for yourself. Sure. That was me. Like, sure. it wasn't like, oh God, I'm praying about, you know, this job move or this relationship or whatever. It was about, no Lord, I'm going to pray for my, my group. It's what it was. My church group. It's yeah. like a, it's like a pressure, not a pressure, but it's like a, an extra responsibility added onto you because like you're one of the helpers. Yeah, 100%. So for me, it was a lot harder. I felt it was okay. a lot more of a challenge. I'm with you there. Fast, yeah. Mucked me around a lot. Why do you think? Why do you think fasting does that? Oof, it's a good question. It's interesting, eh? Like, there's that. There's obviously it's a spiritual battle, regardless. Anytime you're fasting, but that they hit harder, man. Mm. They hit a lot harder. There's a responsibility to it. Okay. I feel like there's a greater, you're, like you said, you're not just fasting for something that you want, you're fasting for others to benefit, to grow, to get saved. Mm. Because we don't know how many people that are coming that are not saved. Yeah, bro. We've got, there are probably regulars in our group that are saved, we don't know. Do you know what I mean? So. You are right there, bud? Yeah, the, this camera went off, your camera. Why? Turn it off, turn back on. Sorry, is that? You're not sorry yet, mate. This is very interesting times, you know what I mean? Is that, is that the camera we got here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No battery. Well, there you go. Look at that. 
No battery. Uh, How does that happen? Only you, mate. Only me. You didn't prep. I did. I did. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. it just it's just fine. a weak battery. Okay. So let's take a break and we'll come back. All right. All right. We're back. Sorry about that, bro. That's all right. Cameras, batteries, this, that. That's all right. Um, you good. All right. We charge it up, people. We're back. So, state, you're talking about fasting. Why is it harder to do for others? You reckon? Because you're carrying responsibility. So, okay. So, I'll, I'll look at it like this. So, when you're fasting for something you want, mm. you're only worried about yourself because okay. you're worried about your desire, what you want, whatever it may be. When you start taking it to other people in account and you're praying, and it's the things you're praying for. You're praying for, one, what I believe is, for some people it's their salvation. Okay. For, it could be. Yeah. For some people, like on, in a retreat kind of a scenario. Life decisions. Life decisions, sort of thing, yeah. uh, getting closer to God, uh, rededicating their life, recommitting. Those five things I'll look at in a retreat perspective and say, I'm not a I'm not a leader, but I'm a helper. So my job is to help as best I can and be the best example I can to those that we're serving alongside. Yeah, and not just in a in a physical capacity, but in a spiritual, spiritual capacity. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. And that's the biggest thing. So you're putting the needs of others to God, mm. praying for a change, fasting for a change. Mm. Because you're doing that, there it makes things a lot in the fasting sense a lot harder. Yeah. That's why it's tougher because it's not just about what you want. You're thinking and praying for others yep. and you're fasting, you're sacrificing your whatever you want for that day for others. Yeah, that's vital, man. I think that that's a necessity for any anything in ministry. Mm. I mean, bro, I've, I, you've seen that. I've taken it to children's church now. Mm. You know, we've got uh, prayer, prayer meetings now for children's church um, where we talk about the spiritual aspects of what we do. And I think that that has revitalized the ministry um, in general and exponentially because God is involved a lot more. Mm. Not that we weren't praying before or we weren't being involved more, but now there's a focus on the team doing it together. I think that's that's a big thing. Mark really convicted me with that. Mm. So, yeah, man. That's what I think it is. So, i ask you this. Mm. Have you fasted for someone before? As in, not in a relationship sense, but have... Has someone come to you with a need? So I'm praying about this. And have you taken that to fast? Yeah. 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 Do you, do you find it tougher? Or do you find it about the same? I don't know if I find it tougher, but I definitely do find it dif- to be different. It's different. Because without sounding like a dog, it's a lot less selfish. And so there's a responsibility there. Right, as in, if I break my own fast for something I'm praying about, well, that's on me, and that's on my relationship with God, and I got to sort that out between me and Him. But if I break my fast for someone else, there's I feel more responsible in that regard. Does that make yeah, sense? Agreed. Because they've they've confided in me, they've asked for my help, mm. and I'm not only you know letting God down in that regard, I'm also letting that person down. I think that isn't really something people talk about when it comes to this sort of thing because it's it sounds so, I don't know, narcissistic or self-involved, but I don't think it's meant to be that. I'm thinking like, yeah, that's how I see it anyway. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. Because I know that I've done it before and I found it about the same, but also a bit tougher because all I'm thinking about is that person that day. Yeah. Like one of those boys, whichever boy it is that I was fasting for, for to help out on, that sort of thing yeah. not, on, not on his behalf but as in playing a part in helping him with his decision no, but it is, it is it is on their behalf as extent, well because yeah. the bible tells us to pray for one another yeah. and to intercede for one another and that's what we do that, yeah. that's being a christian man being a christian is a lot more than just hey bro how you doing mm. sometimes it's bro do you mind praying for me and helping me out with this i need it yeah but yeah bro i'm looking forward to elevate Great. retreat it's coming up excited it's gonna be good yeah bro looking forward to it man i'm i'm actually just keen to to get there yeah and that'll be good i'm keen to just get all this stress of organizing out of the way like just is this gonna happen is that gonna and just to enjoy it Mm. how do you do that how do you enjoy the event but also take part in you know helping organize it um i'll just switch off what do you mean? So, 
So for me, my job was registrations. Mm. Don't want this to come across as in a bad way, but I have nothing else to do. That you're done. Trip. Yeah, you're done. I'm done. Yeah, that's fair. So for me, it's up until Thursday before I leave. Mm. Not there is much to worry about, but I guess I'm going to get like those, oh, hey, this person might not be coming anymore. Refund. Yeah, yeah. That's a kick to the stomach. Not nothing I've done, but it just sucks. Oh, person's not going to be there. Mm. But the second I get there on the Thursday, or on one route on the Thursday. What time are you leaving Thursday? Uh... Today. 5.30? 5.30. Okay, so 5.30. I'll, I'll be there about 4.45, 5-ish because I've got to sort things out with the site. But yeah, looking forward to that night. It'll be good, man. It's going to be good, bro. It'll be good. Looking it's forward good. to it. That's what I'll do. So I just, to drive, I'm like, all right, well, I'm not, I haven't been listening to do anything at the retreat except maybe one of the nights I'm going to pick up the food. Yeah. I think for one of the nights. Yeah. I don't have to be on stress for that. Like, it's just gonna Imagine drive. being Mark. Can you imagine being Mark? He's done it for 15 years with Epic. I get it, but you're thinking about everything constantly, yeah, yeah. every single second of the day. I That's think brutal. I think this year, seeing how he's handled Elevate and the impact he's had on meeting people one on one, and everyone has their own. You know, dramas, everyone has their own issues they're going through, everyone has their own battles. Mm. For him to take it all in, we underestimate a hundred percent. We underestimate it a lot. Like we think, 100%. oh, we're helpers, man, oh, we do so much. We don't do nothing crap. Nothing. And I think that's that's the big thing as well. Mark has really taken it in and has met with everyone. Yeah, bro. I know of the guys, obviously, he's met with all the boys. Yeah. And I know that the and girl leader has been, has been with working with a lot of the girls. If she hasn't met with all of them, I'm sure that their time will come at some stage. Mm. But it's massive. Yeah, it's huge, bro. You know? So a retreat is probably like the least... I don't know, man. I feel like it's another level. Yeah? Yeah, I feel like the devil really tries to play games and attack those things. Oh, yeah. And I feel like there's just so much stress that goes into that. Because, you know, you've got to worry about everything. You've got to make sure everything's going all right. Spiritually and physically, someone injures themselves or hell breaks loose with safety yeah. and all that sort of stuff. I oh, know. All I know is... Yeah, yeah it, it is. It is it's different. It's going to be good, bro. It is different thinking. It's a different type of stress. Yeah. But it's a healthier stress then mm. than what he would have to manage yeah. with on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Listen, either way, it's going to be good, man. Looking forward to it. It's gonna be good, bro. And then, so there's that. Then there's Epic Camp. Yeah. There's the Grand Prix. Yeah, and then October's a busy one. Marriage retreat. Yeah. Do I have to do registrations for that? I don't think so. Wow, your camera's running out of battery too. Look at this life we live, bro. It's just very interesting. <sighs> Stuff for the last. I know. What is what do is you? Life? Do you just leave the cameras recording all no, day? No, I filmed. Then... I filmed. Talk to me prior to this, so that's why this is going down. Does your camera have an hour and a half? I thought they had like four hour time things, but I guess they don't. This is so interesting. <laughs> yeah. Will it show up that, that flashing? I don't know. Show us the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> so the people are on the time limit with us, bro. Mm. Ah, that's that's all right. We'll, we'll switch it again. That's no, fine. No, we won't wait. And I, I, I've got an idea. It's fine. Yeah, um, good. But yeah. But no, that should be, yeah, it should be good, bro. No, it'll be good. Bro, you know yeah, what else yeah. happened this week? Mm, tell me. Bro, the queen. Gonskis. <laughs> I don't care. Is that bad? Thank you. Is that bad? Thank you, sir. Okay, talk to me about this, bro. Why do people care so much? They care like they live Why with does it matter? Uh, sorry, don't... sorry. I'm not, no, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. But she was 96 years old. That's, that's my, that's my big thing. God bless her. 96 years old. She lived a full life. Saw her kids, great grandkids. The, you know, the whole shebang. She had it. She lived a full life. Decent. Good on you. Wrap it up. Well done. Not her wrap it up. Here's my it thing. Just yeah, yeah. Like, here's my thing, right? My thing about the 96. You get to the 90s, hold out till you get to 100. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. They're weak. Yeah. That's exactly what, like, you couldn't make it to 100. Look, you couldn't hold out four more years? You did 96 of them. Do four more. Get the triple digits. It's true. Get the century. See what I'm saying? No, I agree. I just don't see... I don't see why people... Like, there were people today lining up 
Yeah, I don't get um, that. Uh, for the casket. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You never cared when she was alive. Mm. Why do you care? See, I think the Brits do, though. I think the Brits really care about the royals. Yeah, why? I don't know. Like... I don't know. Maybe we're so disconnected from it. I mean, we've got mates that love the Royals. Maybe we're just so disconnected. I just I don't get the appeal. I don't understand it. Yeah, no, I didn't get it. Um, but yeah, she died. So now we have a king. Oh, that's about time. I mean, king Philip the Third. It's like seventy three years old. Getting into this. He's old, mate. He's old. I saw some meme where it was like King Philip the Second had the Black Plague. The first one had a full massacre. What's going to happen with this one? <laughs> Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm, bro. Nah, my the favorite meme I've seen by far of of the death is <laughs> it's gonna be so bad, but it was the scene in Borat where he's like, "Look at me, king of the castle. Look at I have a chair. Go do this. You'll do that." I thought that was very funny. You're right. You know what I do find meme. interesting about all this is the um the whole coin and money situation. Oh yeah, they want to change the face. No, no, like they have to change the face. What do they have to? Apparently, do? legally. It's part of the Royal Commission. So, like, next year, our coins will have King Philip's head. That's pretty hectic. And then the year after, the $5 note will have his face. Ooh, like, cool. apparently, it's part of the, like, you have to do it legally. It's a full legal requirement. Oof. There's so much about our country that <laughs> astounds me. I, I had no clue. I didn't know that was a thing. Listen, just give me another public holiday. So, that's the thing. We get one on the 22nd, right? Very random. Very random, but is this going to be an annual thing? No. Nah, it's a one off. I want it to be an annual thing. It should be a monthly hey, thing. Albo, hey, listen up. Give it to us annually. It should be a every monthly. year. I want it. I want it. I want it weekly. Thank you. I want a weekly public holiday. Here's my my issue. You know, like the uh, the Queen's birthday, like we've got that annual public yep. holiday. Apparently, we don't get that anymore. It just gets changed to the King's birthday. Give us another one. Yeah, you know I mean? give us another one. Yeah, yeah. That's lunacy. Yeah. Yeah, mate, but she's gone. Yeah. She's, uh, her earnings is up. She's gone, skis. For neither does she's out there. She's out in the middle for a while. We got the next one. Terms. Bro, yeah, King Philip III. I looked at him and I'm like, oh, it's her husband. I had no idea it was her son. What, was sorry? No, it's her son, right? Yeah, I looked at him. I was going to say. Uh, and Stado's camera is gone. Look at that. I feel sorry for everyone else. I have to see your face all the time. Look at that. It's gone, skis. All right, give me two seconds. All right. All right, so we tried to do something, but we can't because both cameras are dead or dying. So this one's dying. So until this one goes, we're gone, skis, and we're just going to go audio. Yep. i got no other choice. That's right. Such is life. Anyway, shows our professionalism. What were we saying? Yeah, Philip's her son. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I looked at him. I go, this guy's definitely her husband. Who was her husband, Charles? No idea. I don't follow. I, I don't care. Yeah, I don't know. So, don't yeah. Know. I don't know. I, I know. I don't know enough about these people. I just know that we've got a public holiday and I'm very thankful. Yeah. And the coins are pretty cool. But apart from that... I'm, I'm very excited for the new coin. You know what's interesting though is our kids will not have a... Like, the queen's not the prominent figure. That's interesting. We grew up constantly thinking, why don't we have a king? And well, um, Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, uh, will the Brits have to change the anthem? Yeah, it's God Save the King now. Oh, the, legit change? Legitimately, it's God Save the King. Is it legit? Apparently. Oh. It doesn't have to be. Someone in, uh, educate us. Let us know. Yeah, I hope no, God Save the Queen's hectic. Yeah. It's a good anthem, the Brits. Got a yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like the New Zealand one as well. Yeah, New Zealand's on That one's one. a Mac. Oh, no, is it? Which one's the one that, that mentions God and country and Jesus and all that? Is it them? Where's the New Zealand one go? Oh, in English or in actual Kiwi? In English. I don't want to ask why you know it in Kiwi. Uh, what the fuck? God of Nations. Okay, I had to sing the whole there thing. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Sing, sing God the of Nations. Kiwi in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an anthem, bro. It's so beautiful. That one. Then there's Lebanon. Lebanon there's anthem. Uh, Lebanon, Very good. Bro. Australia is at the bottom. No, no, no. Advance Australia Fair Garbage No Is phenomenal I will Garbage fight anthem. anyone on this Bro It is such a great anthem Why For you to sing with the Like with your people around It's just You can bellow that thing bro You don't have to be a good singer To sing it Like in a group It's got words that Mean something Such as It's quality 
Such as? Australians or yeah, Australians all let, oh, I forgot it too. Australians all let us rejoice for we're young and free. One and free now. Yeah, that's dumb. With golden soil. Yeah, yeah. Golden soil and wealth for toil. Our home is girt by sea. Bro, it's just, it's about our country, bro. It's beautiful. For someone that doesn't know the anthem. No, nah, I, can't, I don't know it without singing it in the tune. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. But yeah, I, no, love I, like the, I love the New Zealand one, bro. Yeah, that New one's Zealand one's beautiful. That one's quality. I can't stand the American one because that one is like, now nah, you have to be a good singer to know how to sing it. So sing it. You know Which one's that again? Um, oh, say, can you see? Oh, track. Yeah, yeah, but like... Nah, it's a banger. Nah, bro, you can't sing that with the boys, like standing for a footy game. You know what I mean? Oh, well, the Americans do when they go to war. <laughs> That's a fair point. But I'm saying like, you know when the origin happens, like you're all grabbing each other. But they all sing it Australia the No, no, they don't. That's, That's the difference. That's very interesting. In the Aussie anthem, they encourage you to sing. Yeah. In the American one, it's just one lady singing and they all put their hats on their hearts, which... And we're gone. All right, no cameras. That's fine. Yep. Hey, you got to rest from our face, ladies and gents. There you go. So, yeah, right the here. Americans, they don't have to, they don't sing it together. It's just one person with a belting voice and they go for it. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, nah. The Lebanese anthem is a great anthem. I love that one. I'm in the process of learning the Turkish anthem. Okay. Because of my blood. Have to. For the people. Yeah. my Turks. Um, sure. But yeah, so far, yeah, the Brits is good, the Americans good, Australia's garbage, Lebanon's great, New Zealand's great. That's all I know. That's all I know. Yeah, that's all I know. Mm. Good. Who had the biggest spot? You reckon of anthem singing? Uh oh. Is it is, is it, it Fergie? Yeah, Fergie. I think that's the worst. Is it or is it the guy? That guy that, that sang at the baseball. Y- yeah, that's pretty bad. The testy pop. That's pretty bad. That is. Can we play that? Can we play that? Yeah, do you have it? That's pretty bad. Those two are pretty bad, bro. Like, Fergie's was horrendous. I'll get Fergie's. You get his one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fergie Ferg. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> remixes. <laughs> have you... Is it the, my home sweet home? To so this is Fergie. That, that's bad, bro. That's terrible. Come on. It, especially when she gets to the end. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's terrible. The face yeah. laughing at it. Do you have the other guy? I'm trying to see if I've... This is... The... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, go. So this one... So I'm just getting it now. God bless America sure My home Sweet home That's pretty bad. <laughs> Man, that that's, is. that's not even the anthem though. That's God bless America. I know, but that's I've pretty heard bad. That. The first time I ever heard that, I lost the plot. Yeah, completely, that's pretty bad. Completely lost the plot. Oh, that's funny, bro. Very good. That's good times. Oh just hilarious, honestly. But um Yeah, th- th- just There's gonna be nothing worse than watching it like that though, eh? You're in front of your entire country. Yeah, I actually had a friend from school. Oh, obviously, she left a very, very long time ago. I don't talk to her. But she popped up on um, Fox League a few years ago because she <laughs> she watched an anthem. Dead set. Yeah, it was very funny. That's awesome. Actually, yeah, I lost my mind. I, I love that. Hilarious. She full watched the anthem hard. Full on? She clearly forgot it. Forgot the anthem? And she's, she's just, That's bad, bro. Imagine that. You just get just mind blank. Yeah. Bro, that's happened, to, that's happened to me preaching once. Like, oh, it was preaching on a Friday night. Were you preaching the Australian anthem? Yeah, yeah. No, I was preaching on a Friday night and um, I got up in front of 
the uh, adults Bible study. Got up there. I stood in front of them. And I went blank. I actually apologize. I go, guys, I'm so sorry. I've um, completely forgotten what I'm preaching on tonight. Just give me a second. <laughs> Looking at my notes, I couldn't read my notes. It was like my notes were in Chinese or something. Like, I, like my mind just blanked me, bro. And I stood there for like 30 seconds trying to regain something. Yeah, and then great. I finally remembered the first word and then started going. <sighs> yeah, that was full on. <laughs> A bud came up to me afterwards. He goes, "Bro, what happened there?" I go, "I completely forgot what I was talking about." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's no good. That's good times. Anyway, let's wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap that up. We uh, do the old stato. Start where the people finding you. Yeah, mate. Uh, you just find me at church halls. At church. Well, they're gonna find you at Elevate Retreat this weekend, buddy. Uh they better not. We're gonna tell you for our church people, but um, <laughs> that's a fair call. That no, is no, a fair call. Yeah, we'll church and, uh, we'll get from there. All right, find them at church, ladies and gents. You know where to find us. Have a chat with Ray and Stat on all the social media platforms, YouTube, the lot. Get us up to one fifty. Do all that nice stuff. We'll see you next time. <laughs>